Good day and welcome to video number four of the 2023 NCA Publicity Distribution Paper and this is question 1B part 2. This is an excellent question and you can answer them, they'll be great. This question is going to be uh, a justification question and if you can answer them, then excellent. And I've got most of the answers from the marking schedule. So the question is, the sample data shown in figure 1A, this is 1A, okay, we're going to put side by side, 1A is this, okay? Hopefully you can see 1A, okay? 1A is here. So 1A, the graph is there, okay? And it runs through the simulation model 1,000 times. Assuming that the woo fineness of the Awasi ship is uniformly distributed with a minimum, minimum of 20 micron and a maximum of 60 micron. So from figure 1A, minimum is 20, maximum is 60. Figure 1B, this one here, okay, shows the result of the simulation model. So this is a simulation, okay, the overfitted shape for the model generated data and the original real observed data. The blue dot, the little circle is the blue dot, there's no color in my printer. So, shows the relative frequency of the different classes with the woo fineness. The gray band, this, this gray band here, okay. On the other hand, shows the variation expected for the classes of woo fineness based on the total of 49 ships and the one quarter probability of each class. So, there are four different classes. So, the chances of them is one quarter each time. Okay. So based on the result of the simulation model and the original observed data, this is the original, okay, figure 1B, discuss whether the uniform distribution model presented above appear to be appropriate for modeling woo fineness for the Awasi ship. Support your answers with statistical reasoning. So we're going to, this answer is mostly from the, uh, marking schedule so if you can follow me through and i'm going to explain you will be able to get uh, excellent okay so you can see that the simulation shows enough evidence that the proposed model is appropriate to model wool fiber fineness for our sh shape okay so it is appropriate because you can see it's quite similar shape okay each wool fiber in the observed data appears in the gray cloud of variation that the simulation model produced confirming that uniform model is appropriate. Okay, so you can see this gray model, everybody is the equal chance of getting into the first column, second column, third column, or fourth column. So that's why they say there's an equal chance for them to appear in any of them. Okay, so that's why that is how they answer that. And the last thing they say, the uniform model assumes that each outcome is equally likely. So because of this, equally likely outcome because they said something equally likely okay uh, so because it can happen here it could happen here it could happen there happen there and the, the frequency is about the same here so 20 to 30 is as high here followed lower slightly from 30 to 40 and then slightly lower again from 40 to 50 and it go up slightly from 50 to 60 so the simulation is quite similar to the observed data so that is why you answer them in three different parts the first part is an achieve the second part is a merit, and the last part is equally likely chance because the, the, the variation is equally likely to happen in either of the column, then you can get an excellence in this question. So hopefully you go through this question again, and I'll see you in the next video, video number five, which is uh, question 1B part three. See you for the next video.